welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Chelsea in Bloom 2024. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, do consider subscribing. I post video every Sunday about luxury items or what I consider luxury places of interest wherein I'll give you a little bit of a history, some background, my honest opinion, hoping at the end of the video, you'll learn a thing or to okay chelsea in bloom 2024 so history uh it's dated back 1913 um, we're in the royal horticultural society have decided to do a three-day show in chelsea hospital ground wherein they will do or they will display things an idea about how you look after your plants whether they're flowers whether they're trees or anything horticultural they'll give you tips guidance you can buy it as well which is becomes so popular that they've decided to increase it to another day so in 1927 they made that into a four-day event attended by the royalties as you know if anything attended by the royalties they want to go there too so they opened it to the public wherein you have to purchase a ticket thing the cheapest price is just on the 60 pound but you have to be very quick in getting a ticket because it's one of those yearly annually event that it gets sold out very very quick i've never been actually because i'm a little bit lazy when it comes to checking out ticket unless someone will do that for me and i'll just give them the money and i'm in yeah so because it was just so popular and this is actually a good idea whoever thought about this is quite impressive so to bring more or attract more people to chelsea this is in London, it's a place in London. They've decided to host a, what you call Chelsea Bloom. We're in along the Sloan Square. Sloan Square is another station, another place in London, quite close to Chelsea. We're in, they will partake in this what you call Chelsea Bloom. So they will be displaying, either they put the display in inside their store or outside so then it get judged they have like a qr code wherein uh the passerby or whoever wants to check it out or who's shopping this is a shopping district it's a shopping area it's one of the poshest shopping areas well it's quite high end you've got uh Cate, Rob Lauren, and so many clubs to name a few and restaurants as well. So they got QR codes, so you can do the QR code and then you can vote for the best display. So whoever's win, you get either a gold, bronze, silver, and then all of this that partake, they will give the money to um a charity. So this is charity, there is two. The um the other one is called the Felix Project, wherein they will donate the money for hunger and food for London people. And the other one is about the confetti club, where this is linked to the cancer research here in UK. So it is actually a very, very good cause. So this Chelsea in Bloom, they have theme on a yearly basis. I can only check. I think they've started in 2022. But last year, I was so desperate to go because last year was really a good theme. It's about film. So this year, it's all about the theme. It's about floral feast. So hence, you're going to be see like a, a hungry caterpillar. We need a pool because we need a pool. It's a lot of honey, isn't it? You've got lady and the tramp so all those things or anything related with indulgement really so i went there with my friends so i've checked it out so i put a little bit of a video believe you me it's very hard to get a video because it's so popular so some of it is just a lot of photos photos and videos so 
please bear with me. Today is the last day. It is a week, pretty much a week event. I suppose, well, of course it's going to be just a week event because it's real flowers. So it's not one of those fake ones. So if you're there first thing when it's got, uh, when they did a display, you will see all the freshness and you can smell. When we went there, we went last Friday, they're just about uh, on a uh, last leg. So I don't know whether you guys can catch it up today or perhaps if you didn't go today, do it next year. And I guarantee you it's really a good day out for if you are a uh, flower lover, a plant lover, or if you are um, love gardening, if, a, if you love gardening, so this is a place to go, a good day out. Um, yeah, so I hope you like it and um, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you check it out and which is the display that you like the most. Until then, you know what to do. Remember, keep smiling and bye for now. Bye-bye, guys. Have a lovely weekend.